It, yeah, it's it, it, I'm, I'm trying to speak for myself, but at the same time, not, uh, not think of others. Yeah, there is no thinking of others. That sounds very nice, but it's not. And no one thinks of others. So that thinking of others is just more advice sprinkling. Everyone's in, everyone's interested in themselves. That's the way everyone's wired. There is no such thing, no such thing as selfish or unselfish. Everyone is wired, um, to view and to seek and to biologically crave their own sense of well-being. So when you're when you're recording your solo podcasts, what do you are the, you talking to yourself? You mean the, the latest ones? You know? The latest the direct, ones. Are the, you the talking direct to yourself? Podcast? Yeah. Or what? What is you, there's there's some wonderful topics there. Are these? Yeah. Are you having yeah. conversations with yourself and just sharing it no. with others? What? Well, what I'm doing, I'm not really sharing. I'm I enjoy taking a topic and then. Um, basically getting a dart and throwing it directly into the heart of that topic. I enjoy, I enjoy, um, that discovery. I enjoy that. No fluff, no intro music, right? No nonsense. Uh, in fact, at some point, those direct truth podcasts probably will be 30 seconds long. Because there will be so, there won't be a single wasted letter because there's no time to waste. Um, just, just what it says: direct truth, no fluff, no no time waste, no intro, no talk about obvious nonsense that everyone already knows. Get to the point, in and out. This is what it is. Not that you should do it. Not that you shouldn't do it. Couldn't care less. If you change, doesn't bother me one bit. If you don't change, doesn't bother me one bit. But I like the communion. I enjoy the communion between the topic and the absolute raw, direct truth of that topic. So ignoring anyone who might be listening and theoretically, you're just basically having a conversation with yourself. And if somebody likes it or, or listens, great. If they don't, they don't. I don't know who I'm having a conversation with. All I'm saying is that I am just, uh, I just enjoy the, the, the throwing of that arrow into the heart of that topic. And, and do you do any preparation? No. So you show up on the top and then you just go? Yeah, it just, I don't, it isn't so much that I go, it comes. So, so can you give me a glimpse of what somebody could expect when, and I've got several of them here that, that I've put up in, in front of me. The first understanding to become world class. That topic just emerges in your head and you hit record and you just. Absolutely. Go. It's all there. It's all there. I'm not like, I'm not reciting it. It's just coming from somewhere else through me. So what does, what does that first understanding look like for somebody who wants to be world class? I don't even remember what I said. I know that. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I can't answer that question. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't even know what I said. It, you know, everything, I think that if you're, if someone is truly serious, they'll, they'll get away from the hows and the how to's and they'll naturally be more inclined and more attracted to finding out what it is that they truly want first. 